Why are we in Afghanistan? The British Army has been fighting wars in Afghanistan since 1839. The Khyber Pass has been littered with British skeletons. In 329 BC, Alexander the Great crossed the Oxus River into Afghanistan. He was attacked by guerrillas and they stopped his advance towards China. Ghazni, between Kandahar and Kabul, was the centre of a great Islamic empire famed for its music, architecture, science and literature. Kandahar and Kabul were once Greek cities called Alexandria, surrounded by orchards and flower gardens. All this was to change in 1839 when the British decided that the Amir Dost Mohammed was too pro-Russian and posed a threat to British India. The British demolished city walls, stole the doors of the Islamic tomb at Ghazni to the tears of the custodians. The British army of the Indus reached Kandahar. They drove out 6,000 inhabitants and strapped tribal chiefs to field guns to impose order. They were pelted with stones and ran out of food and supplies. The starving British army of 16,500 were forced to retreat from Kabul in the snow. Deprived of their bribes, the Afghans, who are expert guerrilla fighters, fired down the British forces from the mountains. The officers panic and ride their horses over the sepoy infantry. All the 16,500 British army were cut down in the snow, save for one man. In a punishment raid, the British fought their way back to Kabul and blew up the bazaar of 2,000 shops. The British complained to the Amir about Russian advances into northern Afghanistan. The Amir refused to reply. The British envoy and 75 staff were murdered. As a reprisal, General Roberts occupied Kabul with a reign of terror, hanging Afghans before the city walls. The Afghans rose up again in 1880 at the Battle of Maiwan at Kandahar and killed 971 British and Indian troops. Britain established a new border between India and Afghanistan. A hundred years later, this border still causes trouble. In 1919, the pro-British Amir is assassinated by Islamic nationalists. The mountain tribes revolted using new guns manufactured by the English. The British then used a new weapon the Royal Air Force. 20-pound bombs were dropped on Kabul and Jalalabad. The RAF continued to bomb the tribes of the Northwest frontier until 1947. Clausewitz, the military thinker of the Napoleonic period, said that a campaign would fail without clear political and military aims. Are we in Afghanistan once again for democracy, women's rights, the defeat of Al-Qaeda, for opium control, or is it oil and gas?